It's that time of year where everybody's selling their fig cuttings, and I love getting new fig cuttings. But I got something very interesting today instead. Um, Brian Melton, who some of you might know, sent me these little tiny figs that are called Cali Candy. Now, usually I get fig cuttings in the mail, and I have never received figs in the mail before. They uh, are from, I guess, a tree that he discovered that um, looks like a completely different and new type of variety. You can see here it has a tight eye, small, and uh, judging by the name that he gave it, that it's probably pretty sweet. This has a little bit of mold growing on it, so I'm gonna have to rinse that off. Unfortunately, I left my um, my little scale outside in the rain. It's short-circuited and it is broken, so I don't have a way to measure these guys um, until the new scale arrives in the mail. So. This is interesting. I don't know a lot about this fig, but to me, it looks like a tiny little grape plumish uh, in terms of size. Um, I'm going to cut it open here so that you can see how it looks on the inside. And it has a little bit of a tinge of orange, amber, center has a little bit more of that uh, kind of auburn color about it. Interesting looking fig. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any leaves to show you. Because um, that would actually make it a good reference point as far as, um, you know, what kind of fig this might be and in helping with identifying what kind of fig this is. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Let's go ahead and give this guy a try. Okay, so I've taken enough photos of this thing. Um, let's break into it. As you can see here, it's about the size of a quarter in terms of its diameter. And it's quite juicy. And, you know, coming from a fig that came from California, you know, it's quite possible it's pollinated, so we I don't know whether or not this is a common fig or whether it needs pollination. Um, Packs a lot of packs a lot of punch uh, in terms of its taste. Let me try this other guy. Mm. 
Yeah. There's a strong flavor of dried dates. Uh, it's very sweet. It's very syrupy. Lots of seed crunch. And um, really enjoyable. I could probably snack on like a dozen of these just sitting at the desk or working on the computer or something like that. But um, I find this to be a very tasty fig. Incredible. Very good. Uh, and very unique. You know, as a collector, a lot of times I try to, you know, avoid getting similar figs. You know, black figs that taste like strawberry jam. This is a very unique fig in that it's a small greenish yellow fig that has flavors of dates. Except, you know, it's fresh dates. Fresh dried dates. I don't know how to describe it exactly. Um, and it's quite good. I'm really enjoying this. So, um, this is the Cali Candy, uh, and this is one discovered by Brian Milton. Uh, and that's my review for it. Let's put up some scores for this. I think it's a fantastic fig. Uh, I would love to trial this up here in Seattle to see whether or not it's a common fig or if it needs caprification. Um, I don't know how you know late of a variety this would be either. So um, yeah, by accounts, you know, just going off of the figs that were sent to me here, this is a superb fig with a very unique taste compared to any other figs that I've had so far this season. All right, guys. You know, I keep telling you I have no more figs to review. <laughs> Or <laughs> this is the last one. This is the last one. But this probably is the very. Actually, I might have a Genovese Nero outside. <laughs> this is uh, the Cali candy uh, sent to me from Brian Milton. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Just a quick video. I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>